Okay, I think I got all the pop-ups off my screen. Hello! I was not really intending to go live today, but I just wanted to um, kind of show up. I feel like I haven't been on here in forever. Um, those of you that don't know, I'm Nancy from Nancy's Health and Wellness and Mindset Life Coaching. I have been on an extended vacation um, with some fun and some work. So um, the, the work just doesn't stop sometimes, and that's good. I like that. So for those of you who have been here and are a part of this community, I wanted to give you a huge thank you. I appreciate all of you. I'm so very thankful for each and every one of you, and um, I'm very touched by the messages I've received. Um for those of you who have, um, you know, really been inspired by some of the posts that I post on here, um, I tried to do one every day, even though I was um, uh, away from home and on vacation. But today I wanted to talk about, um, I'm actually going to be um, doing another class in July, which is free to you. Um, I will post the details of that and what exactly I'll be teaching. Um, I did a class that was pretty successful uh, a couple months ago called Mindset Matters, and I covered um, a lot of information on mindset, and I think that it really helps people out to um, adopt a certain mindset. So today I wanted to just go through really quick, I um, wanted to let you know that I will be teaching that class in July and I will post the details for that soon. And then I also wanted to talk about mindfulness, which um, that's kind of a hot topic, mindfulness. What is mindfulness? So mindfulness is being present, being right here, right now not thinking about tomorrow or even what you're going to have for dinner tonight, nothing like that. Um, it's just right here, right now. And something that I like to do is I like to meditate, um, usually before or after a workout. Um, I like to, uh, I ha I'm blessed to have a creek going through my property um, so I can stand and just listen to the water and just reflect on, I like musical, like just music meditation that helps me out a great deal to quiet the mind and, um, just focus on the words of the song or the melody and, um, basically just bring your mind to what is happening there. And not thinking about, you know, tomorrow or the, the, the next 10 minutes. So mindfulness is a practice. But it is a practice. Um, I was listening to a uh, TED Talk. Um, and this person said that, you know, mindfulness is a transformative practice that brings us back home to who we are before we were ever told who we should be. And so sometimes when we hear things like that, it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense until you actually put the mindfulness in practice. So one thing that you can do is you can quiet your mind. You can go, you know, even if you're at work, you can go in your car, sit in your car on your lunch break, wherever you can find quiet. And just sit and close your eyes and just focus on your breathing. Focus on your inhaling, your exhaling, and focus on it for a good couple minutes. And you'll find your mind will start to wander. It'll start going somewhere else. And the practice of the mindfulness is just to bring it right back to where you are and to focus on that breathing. And it sounds like, you know, some people are like, oh, I just, you know, I can't do that. It's just too difficult. It does take practice. But I can assure you that it is a complete transformation of yourself 
and of your mind and how, you know, I say this all the time, your mind and your body go hand in hand. So a lot of people are really sick right now. They're not feeling well. They're, um, there's been, gosh, everywhere I've gone lately, I've just heard sort of a, you know, sort of a chorus of people, you know, not doing well, just coughing. And, you know, and like I said before, that could be allergies. I have terrible allergies and it could be COPD. I know people who have COPD. So it just seems there's a lot of reported illness. And I think a lot of that, and I've been saying this, is the you know, last couple of years that we've all been under has been a huge strain, a huge strain on many things, not just financial, but, you know, personal wise, we are wired for connection as humans. We are wired for connection and social connection. So when we can't see people or we can't interact with people, um, it's almost like a relearning now that people are having to sort of relearn how to act in public or, you know, see friends. Do you hesitate on hugging them because we weren't allowed to, you know, the social distancing was such a huge part of our lives for so long. You know, a lot of this brings stress. So what mindfulness does and the meditative practice of it as well, what it does is it lowers your stress and it lowers the cortisol. So the stress hormone, essentially, that we are in overdrive right now as a society. People are just anxiety ridden. Um, If it's not anxiety, it's just the everyday stress. It's anger. Um, there is a huge uh, decline in mental health in people who, you know, perhaps didn't have any issues with mental health before. And now they're finding themselves completely anxiety ridden, completely stressed out, um, you know, and how do we combat that? So part of the class I'll be teaching in July is going to cover a lot of these things. And it's for our wellness for your health, it's for your your mental health, your physical health. Um, That brings me right back to the nutrition. And um, I'm working with some people right now, uh, nutritional counsel, and having great results. Um, They're doing very well. Um, Obviously, I can't, you know, say their names or give them a shout out or anything, but they know who they are. Um, And some great results with that. Um, I, I am a champion of intermittent fasting. I, you know, some people frown on it and say you're starving yourself. Well, you know, you you know, if you look at the data and you look at the actual scientific data of a human being and the people who actually do, you're not starving yourself. You're just not eating 20 times a day. You know, you're, and you're, you know, it's when you eat and what you eat that really counts. And um, I'm a huge supporter of, um, you know, the ketogenic diet that's been known to uh, people with on the kind of early stages of dementia, you know, doctors are putting them on ketogenic diets and they're actually improving. Now, is it curing them? No, but it's improving. So the diet itself is improving people in just magnificent ways. Um, I do a lot of research. I do, I always name my sources. Dr. David Perlmutter is one of my all time favorite neuroscientists. Um, I also am a huge fan of Arthur C. Brooks, who is a Harvard professor and he is a professor. He's a social scientist and he is, uh, he is basically um, a genius on the topic of happiness and why some people are happy and why some people aren't happy. And um, so that would, if I went into all of that, it would take up a lot more. But I just wanted to, uh, mainly today, my my goal was to let you know that I will be um, 
teaching a class in July. Of course, it is free to you. Um, it will most likely be on Facebook Live, and then I'll post it over on my YouTube channel. Um, if you haven't had a chance to go to my YouTube channel, I have over 40 videos on several different topics, all related to health and wellness and mindset. I am also working on uh, cognitive behavioral therapy coaching, and I'm hoping to get that certified by September, hopefully if I don't have any uh, surprises this summer, but you never know. So um, I just wanted to say thank you for being here. Um, I couldn't tell you how much I am thankful for each and every one of you um, and that you are gaining something from, you know, my experience as a life coach and you are um, benefiting from the posts and the things that I write. And, um, you know, that's my ultimate goal is to help and to serve others. And so, um, so thank you. And that's going to conclude my video for today. And, uh, and so I will have another video pretty soon. I'm not sure when, um, but I felt like I hadn't been on here forever. And, um, I really didn't enjoy doing live Facebook at first, um, when I first started doing it, but now, <laughs> now I kind of miss it. I miss talking to you guys, even though you're not in front of me, but I know I have the, the knowledge that later you will see this video and it might, you know, um, help you in some way. So have a wonderful Wednesday, everybody. I think the sun is sort of, I'm in a sweater. I'm freezing. I actually have tea right here. I'm freezing to death. Um, so I hope wherever you are, the sun is shining because it sure has been a cold, rainy, just terrible weather. So um, let's pray for some sunshine and, and hopefully something warmer. I can hear the birds outside, so I know that they're, they're not like retreating yet down south. All right, you guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all of you. Take care.